Hello guys and welcome back to another Metro game. This time this is Metro Exodus, the third installment of the Metro series. If you don't know what Metro is, and this is kind of the first time you actually are seeing a Metro video or anything of that sort. Metro is actually based off of a books, a series of books of from Metro 33, like 2033. Uh, and each game kind of follows one of the books. Metro 2020, uh, 2020, 2033 is based off of that book. Metro Last Light is 2034, and Exodus in this case is on 2035. So, if you don't know like what's going to happen, I'm assuming they're going to give a bit of a recap, but. If they don't give a well enough recap, I'll go over it afterwards. So yeah, we're gonna do this on the normal mode, cause it's nice that they have a reader's mode, because you know, just for story purposes, and I like that. But, because it's me, I do enjoy it. I'm not gonna go hardcore because I don't know if it is possible to easily stealth it. Cause if you can easily stealth it, then I'll go through it, but outside of that, no way. Yeah, so I was just like in a little bit just so I can actually fix some of the fucking video stuff. But yeah, it's been a while since Metro came out I with the game. I remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air. And I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. <coughs> we tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have
have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. But yeah, so welcome to Russia. Or technically what it was before this was the Soviet Union. If I remember correctly, and it's been a while since I've actually like played the game and read the books, so I did read all the books beforehand. Um, 2033 is sort of the product of what happened when the Cold War went hot. Meaning NATO attacked the the USSR and all hell broke loose and that was kind of the whole sort of the premise of it and the reason why they went into the metro tunnels is because they were all all natural like fallout shelters which is nice look at here we got our we got our Men are chum. God, this game looks so good. Oh, so nice, so nice. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's we'll see what happens, huh? That was weird. There we go. Alright, flashlight. Ooh. These guys exist. This way. There we go. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, you can. Ah, shit. I r I forget how you actually are able to charge it, but you can charge. Thing, which is kind of cool. Ew. Jesus. Alright, well, looks like we can't go this way, so we gotta go the other way. Nope. There we go. E. Ah, sick. Okay, so we only have one gun because I tried switching. I have to say, for tutorial, this is a really weird stutter type of bullshit. Like, okay. okay. Off my screen, guys. Come on. What the fuck is that sound? Also, do I not have a. Ooh. I really hope that I have, like, Something where I can just like. Ooh. 
Yeah, so we're gonna try and go for like a stealthy playthrough of this, because that's what I did with the last ones. Is it not either the loading thing in the bottom right? Or say yeesh. This shit's fucking creepy. Are you kidding me? Fuck off! <gasps> Fucking bitch! Well, that was... Fucking hell. Oh, come on. Don't fuck with me. Ooh, stutters. Okay. Should be fine now. Oh, there's some ringing, but what's this? Nothing. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright. Come on. Open up! There we go. Oh, fuck! Jank! Fuck. Sad, sad, chill. Yeah, that fucking looks disgusting! Uh, take it! There's a guy named Idiot. Hi! Nice! What the hell? He's hurt! Ah! What's up with you? I, I don't know! Is this? Wait, is this Polis? Hey, Demir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself ah, with my hey, Let him learn to stand up for himself! Ah, yeah, How right? else can he hope and to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Oh, Jesus. Spartan blood! Awesome! So it looks like Artyom has been outside again. Cause... He has a uh, case of metro fever. Oh, it's Anna. Are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? 
What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Kalapax. It's Miller! Hey, Miller! There you are, stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro. Nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Right, right, right. We need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please. Promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Right, okay, now it's coming back to me. Yeah. Artyom. What's up, Doc? We managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? <sighs> Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. All right, all right. So yeah, hold on. First off, is there a thing for FOV? Because if there's not, that's actually kind of nice because it's not a weird translation. Like I was looking through the fucking controls and it's like, oh, it's not here. All right. Spatial audio. No, so we'll increase that for a little bit, but we'll reduce the music volume. Discord said you weren't streaming. I was about to yell at you for not. Nah, I, I was streaming. I 100% was streaming. I mean, I even tweeted it. So there's that. But yeah, so now it's all coming back to me. Our tomb is part of the group called The Order, which kind of is like a small governing system, which has a couple of stations under its protection. We are called Spartans. And, you know, no FOV slider. Yeah. I mean, it's not that big of a deal in my opinion. So, it's, it's, it's not bad. But god damn, like, the amount... Yay! Okay. Can't be a Metro game without me fooling around with lights. Ooh, bucks. Oh, sick. Patient file. Artyom Chernogu. Born, uh, what was that? March 31st, 2009. Wow, that's actually, t oh, technically 10 years, almost 10 years ago. He was born. Blood type AV4, or positive. Admitted on, oh, come on, it's the third time. Diagnosis, radiation sickness relapse, light from, light form, approximate dose 1 to 1.5 G? G Y. I don't know exactly. Prognosis favorable. Treatment, blood transfusion, 0.5K, three times a week. Kali, IDM, bed rest, no going for a surface a year at least. Alright, alright. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. What's up? Artyom. Just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom. I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. 
The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Uh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Yeah, so Sparta is what we're technically a part of. Well, we're a part of. And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. Huh. And how long do you think Hi. How many kids are there? In <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't like worry. I believe you. <laughs> Will you so take me with you when you find the clean place outside? No antidotes, no <coughs> I'm... If, if we can. Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. Wow. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. Alright. So, it looks like we're going off of the bad ending, or the canon ending in this case, because just like... Like in Metro Last Light, there was two endings. Sure what could one good and one bad. For like this. And but who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for us, I doubt there is any magical yeah. salvation on court here. What could possibly have survived on this like earth for ever? Like the years. Had the guys not made it in time, you'd be a widow. Stop it! No, you stop it. There's a so, comfortable plan waiting problem. for you to enforce. A far cross from this. I'll just hold on to it. What do you mean we I pretend? No exactly. I don't think anyone by this time should stop thinking only about ourselves. Yes. You know yes, how to win a different life. With your experience, you two must teach the recruits. You could save lots of lives that way. <laughs> I'm so tired of explaining this to you. Dad, I won't come back without Artyom, and he- Anna, this is madness! Yes, I know it is. Spending so much time on the surface is suicide. Yes, I don't want to lose my husband to radiation. I hate him for killing himself out there like that every day. But what if you consider even for one second that Artyom was right? What if he did hear that signal? Would you ever forgive yourself if we let the chance go? The chance to come back to real life. To raise our children outside with sun shining on them. Real sun, Dad. I know I wouldn't. All right. Let's talk it over once more with Artyom. I must say, though, that even if he did hear some signal that's not necessarily a good thing, we'll talk about it later, though. Not in a public space. Deal. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so in Metro Last Light, we heard about a signal. Oh, we had no idea what signal it was, but it was a signal that like our our unit found out when we were going to D6. And we had no idea what it was. And then the whole battle came out and here we are now. So I opened door. So. Oh, I can't believe my eyes, Artyom. You're all right. You gave us a sleep, yeah. brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see Pardon you're all me, right. Gentlemen, give this way. calls for a celebration. Artyom, a few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Hello, how <laughs> many nurses in the hospital? Guys, huh? Would you just stop crowding him? <sighs> brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Alright, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. on, Artyom. I always, I always love just... One week later. Alright. Of course I'm outside. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. I know, but... Just the thought. Uh, yeah. 
Yes, and there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Okay. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. Man, why'd you gotta kill my vibe? I still remember that they made her, like, just a quote-unquote love interest. Time. time to replace our filters. Oh, really? What's the time? Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? Okay, fine. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. All right. Ugh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Ah, Hansa. That's where we were. Have you been to all these ruins? Yeah. <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. It's... It's always interesting because... Okay, so where we were was Hansa, not Polis. Pol I had to scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'm getting through. But yeah, I think it's actually kind of interesting and kind of cute that you know we're just hanging out with our wife. Maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. A flat. Because if not us, then who? <sighs> a flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go. It turns here. It's not stable enough. No worries. It's so nice. God, I just love this look. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa, hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, huh? Fuck! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. You? They probably heard us coming down from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Well, I'm not surprised. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Up. Of course, we got the needles. Come on. Let's go. Maybe I'll think about getting to Polis. Stuff. Go. Ooh, letter. Sure as note. Vegetable oil, one liter. Clava from the main offense, my ring. Sugar, two kilos. Rosandrova, 20, 25, 3-18. Silverware, buckwheat, four kilos. Margarita, Senova, 25, 3-23. My earrings and Kolya's coin collection. Pack, we shouldn't just say shit. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. I don't know. I think it's just we. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae? Or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Yeah. yeah. 
Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Yeah. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Yeah. That would be concerning. <laughs> 